get into six hot new brands that I am obsessed with this spring. Uh, some of them are new, some of them are new to me. I have styled all the pieces as well. I think you're gonna love it. So without further ado, let's hop right in with my outfit of the day. First up on the list, Jean-Paul Gaultier Y Project. I am loving this collaboration and everything that they put out in this collaboration. I've been a huge fan of Jean-Paul Gaultier for years as well as Y Project. I have a ton of their pieces, skirts, dresses, denim, you name it. Uh, and so when this collection dropped maybe like a week and a half ago, I got online right away and I got my pieces. This dress is a Jean-Paul Gaultier Y Project collaboration dress. It has a body print on it with denim. I absolutely love it. I got it in a size 36. I'm normally a size medium, 28 in jeans. This dress fit perfectly in that size. It does have quite a bit of stretch. It is super fun. It's giving, it's giving everything. Okay, I love everything about this dress. The quality is great. It is quite lightweight, so great for travel, great for warm weather locations. Uh, and the way that I style this dress is with my Bottega Large Drop Silver Earrings. You guys know I am loving silver at the moment if you watched my Spring Trends video. Watch that next if you haven't. Uh, these have quite a few dupes, one of them being at Anthropology. so I'll link these as well as the dupes down below. Uh, for accessories, I went with my favorite red bag. In fact, one of the only red bags that I own. This is from Ferragamo, the latest collection under Maximilian Davis. Love this. I love the shape of it. It's super fun. I love the gold silver mixture here of the hardware and I kind of paired that with my outfit as well going with silver earrings and then going with a gold hardware on my shoes. Speaking of the shoes for the footwear with this look I went with my denim Tom Ford padlock heels. You guys know I love denim and when these heels first came out I hopped right on them. They are quite pricey but I have found a really good dupe. Uh, in fact, quite a few dupes of these shoes. So I will link the entire outfit as well as dupes down below in the description box and you guys can check them out. Make sure you go and shop this Jean-Paul Gaultier Y Project collection. It is, I believe, a limited edition collection. You want to get these pieces because they're going to be timeless in your wardrobe. Oh, and how could I forget the lip? <laughs> you guys know I'm loving red. Again, red, one of the top trends of 2023. Case in point, case in point. This red is Fenty Beauty. It is the new Velvet Icon lipstick. This is the MVP. And believe me, it is the perfect red for spring. If you don't like wearing red clothes, just get you some red accessories, a red lip, and you are good to go. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits that I'm gonna show you all today. Speaking of Jean-Paul Gaultier Y Project, I did buy quite a few pieces from the collection. So let's get into the next piece. So the next piece I got from the collaboration is this dress. It's beautiful. It's orange, like a pink. Um, I just love the colors and the body motif on this dress. You guys know orange is one of my very favorite colors. I also got this dress in a size 36, but this one runs a little bit large. I probably could have sized down to a 34 in this. Again, these pieces do have quite a bit of stretch, so definitely size down if you want it to be more form fitting. But the colors on this is what drew me to it. I also love like the built-in little necklace there. And all of the pieces from the collaboration have the Jean-Paul Gaultier Y Project uh, logos stamped on the back as well as on this dress as well. And as soon as I saw this, this is actually what really drew me to the collection. I think it's one of a kind. It's really cool. It's definitely bringing in elements of both Jean-Paul Gaultier and Y Project. It's the perfect marriage of both brands. So the way I style this dress is with one of my favorite pair of Bottega mules. I know like not everyone is into the square toe, but I still love them. I'm still gonna wear <laughs> my square toe mules into the ground because they're so comfortable. Um, I got those in the color Paprika. They're this beautiful orange that matches perfectly with the orange in this dress. I went with my same silver Bottega earrings because I feel like it's a little edgy with the look, as well as a silver bag to play up this silver in the earrings and kind of like the chain belt motif on the belt. 
on the fake belt on the dress here. And I really loved how this look turned out. So number one, the first brand that I'm excited to wear, that I'm obsessed with this spring, Y Project Jean-Paul Gaultier collab. And I just saw that the next Jean-Paul Gaultier collaboration will be with Paco Rabanne. Mind blown. I can't wait until that collaboration as well. That will be hitting the shelves in July. So make sure to follow Jean-Paul Gaultier on Instagram for all the details on that. I will link anything available from these two styled outfits down below in the description box. If something is too expensive, I will link dupes for you all as well. Let's get into the second brand I'm obsessed with this spring. Hello everyone, I'm Monroe Steele of Fashion Steel NYC. So go ahead and give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get into brand number two, and it is none other than Christopher Esber. So Christopher Esber is an Australian brand, I believe. I've been following the career trajectory for about four years now, and I'm pretty sure it was Gary Pepper Vintage who put me on to Christopher Esber, as well as Dion Lee. They're kind of in the same league there. But I am loving all the things that Christopher Esber is doing with denim. I mean, look at this skirt. Ah! It is so stunning. This is a denim, like paneled maxi skirt. The maxi skirt portion does have a slit in the back. And this fabric here at the bottom is kind of a heavy, almost slightly stretchy, not spandex, but something similar. And I'm loving the fringe detailing. Uh, this has real pockets. It is just really incredible and fun. I think he's done maybe two or three versions of this kind of denim black material um, maxi skirt so far. I missed out on the first one. It was a diagonal. I love that one too. Hopefully I can find that on a pre-loved market. But this skirt is drop waist. And I know a lot of people are not into drop waist, but it's coming back y'all and i think the only way that i can pull it off since i have quite a long torso is with breaking it up and showing more stomach instead of wearing like a bodysuit which would just make me look even longer in the torso so the way i style this super cute christopher esber skirt is with a bustier top from and other stories i've had this for quite a bit i'm sure it's not available anymore but there are tons of similar ones online some very affordable, some not. So I will link a few of them down in the description box for you all that are similar. I love how this kind of breaks it up a bit, shows a little more side and actually really gives me almost an hourglass figure with the way the bustier is cut, even though the skirt is drop waist. So that's a little trick for me. Maybe it'll work for you if you're not into a drop waist. Um, now to accessorize this look i wore the same earrings you guys can tell i'm really in love with these bottega silver drop earrings um and then for the shoe i went with my loewe balloon sandals now ever since these came out like i went to the ends of the earth to find like the last 41 they had y'all <laughs> i searched high and low for these heels i actually screenshot them when i first saw them in the show so yeah, that's a little tip. This is why I actually attend fashion shows and watch fashion shows online because those things eventually come out and you can contact an essay and have things pre-ordered and be the first one to get it. But yes, love these shoes. They are a conversation started. They are very, very comfortable, which is why I wear them with just about anything. Um, and for the bag, I went with, went with my Chanel Classic Denim Flap. One of my favorite pieces in my bag collection, I got this bag from What Goes Around Comes Around in New York City. They have two locations where they sell luxury vintage consignment pieces. Um, it was an impeccable condition and it was on sale. <laughs> need I say more? It was on sale. <laughs> so anytime I kind of need to uh, mix and match a denim piece, I always pull that bag out and it just works perfectly. So Christopher Esber, another brand, not new, but new to me of pieces I own from the brand that you should look out for this spring that I'm obsessed with this spring. Also, Christopher Esber does really beautiful dresses. So if you're going on a vacation, 
if you're going on a tropical location or you're out in the desert and you need something that is going to make you look regal beautiful elegant yet sexy christopher esbra has the dress for you i will link this skirt down below along with similars um, and also a few other pieces from christopher esbra that i am loving at the moment number three on the list is definitely new um, because i've never heard of this brand before i was you know been shopping on louisa Viaroma. came across this brand and immediately fell in love the name of the brand is entire studios and look at this top <laughs> this is insane okay you guys so cargo the cargo trend everything cargo is trending at the moment everything kind of poofy is trending at the moment and this brand took those two trends and turned it into a staple look at this super cool bustier top in brown i am absolutely obsessed with it it has poofy sleeves um it has these adjustable straps that are very much giving like army um in the back it has a clippable bra strap and then a zip and the cool thing about this is it does have <laughs> these little openings here. Now this might be a little much for bigger chested women, but for me being a member of the itty bitty tea committee, um, this works out fine, but you do get a little under boob here in these little cutouts. I love that this is adjustable. And then here on the side, you have these like little puffy pieces um, and they do unzip. So you can take these off and wear this as like a simple bustier. And the price on this, I couldn't believe the price of this. Um, when I saw how much detailing went into this, it's incredible. These come in a few different colors. I got this in a brown and I'm in love with it. Ah! I think the sizing, you kind of have to go and look at the chart because the sizing on this brand is really weird. Um, I got a medium in this brown top. It is nylon, spandex, and polyester. It also has 90% duck down and 10% duck feather. So just do note that in these pieces, it does have down and feathers to keep it like puffy. But this is, I love it. So the way I style this, this is probably one of my favorite outfits um, and how I styled it. And I had to take pictures and uh, post them here so that I can review and tell you guys. Um, so the way that I styled this is with the Attico gray cargo pants. I've had these for quite a while. I love them, um, but I don't wear them that often. Um, so there are tons of dupes of these pants. So I would definitely get a dupe uh, instead of paying that hefty price tag for the Attico pants. The dupes are just as good and I have linked quite a bit down below. Uh, but these are one of my favorite pair of pants and the way that I styled them with accessories is I went with my Gucci Globe Trotter tote one of my favorite bags in my wardrobe on the inside is this beautiful like blood red felt this is just a beautiful bag I love this bag it is quite heavy but it's so stunning um, and I believe it's under $2,000, which is really great for a designer bag, especially like Gucci. This thing is an heirloom. It's hard. You can put jewelry in it or, or you can wear it as a bag, which is what I often do. And I chose this bag because the brown and the silver go really well with the brown in the top and the silver to the gray in the pants. So I just want to give you a little thought process of why, how I style these accessories. For the shoes, I actually went with a pair of lace-up sandals with a bit of brown in them from jc penny <laughs> i've had these sandals for so long they're very very comfortable when i got them i told y'all to get them so if you're not following me on instagram please head on over there to at monroe steel all one word and give me a follow because my stories is really where it's at on the daily of where i get things for an incredible fashion steal of a price See what I did there? See what I did there? Fashion steal. Uh, and then for the sunglasses, I went with my new end pair of Bottega sunglasses. They have silver hardware. And the frames are a little bit yellow, brown tinted. 
I thought that just went so excellent with the look. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits I've ever created. And I cannot wait to actually wear it somewhere. But this brand, Entire Studios, is incredible. Um, and if you've heard of this brand before, let me know where. Because I had never seen anything so cool. In fact, I also got this top in another color. So I also have this entire studio's top in gray. Um, I love the gray too. I could have did an all gray moment with those uh, pants as well. But this one wasn't the right size. Yeah, it doesn't even have a size on it. No, this is actually a small. So the small was too small. I could not even zip this thing up. Um, I thought it had a little more stretch, but I'm definitely a medium in this. So go with your normal size um, because trying to get the zipper zipped up in the back, it can be a feat if it's not the right size. Brand number three, Entire Studios. I will link both of those tops down below in the description box, as well as a few other pieces from the brand that I'm loving um, and that are in my cart waiting to be bought, as well as all the other items and styling that top. All right, let's get into brand number four. Part of the construction, they are doing something. <laughs> okay, brand number four is actually a footwear brand and it is Gia times Sylvia Chirashi. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Gia has a ton of collaborations with different notable people and the collections are always incredible. So when I saw these heels, I had to have them. First of all, they are such a fun color for spring. I don't have any thong high heel sandals and the leather is so plush. I got these in a size 41 and they fit perfectly. I also love the design of these, how they kind of cross in the front like so and then you can just wrap them around your ankles and tie them in a bow. Um, you can tie them in a ton of different ways. I like to just circle them around the ankle and just let a few strings dangle or tie them in a bow. And I can still walk around and feel like I have good ankle support. But these are stunning. Oh, these are perfect for spring. Thong heeled sandals are in. I also just saw that YSL has come out with um, a similar pair in a beautiful neutral. So if you are more of a neutral gal, but you want a thong heeled sandal, I will link those down below as well, as, as well as any uh, more like affordable versions. Um, these were not that pricey, they were on sale. So, uh, aren't they stunning? I love these. So the way that I styled these uh, was with this stunning Fumi the Label white dress. Now, for me, the label, it's a black owned brand. I have been an, an admirer of the brand for quite some time. I personally know the designer. She is incredible. Um, just doing big things. Oh, we love to, to see the girls doing big things. Hello. And this dress is the one. It had the little necktie in the back. I love the shoulder neck detailing. It has an open back. I'm wearing a medium in this dress. It has a beautiful curved slit. This dress fits me like a glove. I'm wearing the size medium. I thought it was gonna be too small, but it's actually perfect because although it has stretch, it's the kind of stretch that sucks you in. The material of the dress is quite thick um, and it just really sucks you in, holds you in, gives you a beautiful figure. I think this dress also comes in a few other colors, so I'll be sure to link the dress down below. It does have a little wire aspect for your under boob area, <laughs> and you can kind of tailor it to yourself. And it has a dart as well, which I think just elevates the dress altogether. It is a stunning dress, absolutely beautiful. I also went with Fumi the Label earrings. These are huge <laughs> silver hooped earrings. I I'm in love with them. If you watched my uh, updated jewelry collection video, you know that I love a statement earring. Um, and if you want to know more of my favorite statement jewelry brands, including black owned brands, make sure to watch that video next. 
but I've been into silver. It's one of spring's hottest trends and the silver ones of these earrings just do it for me. Every time I wear them, compliments, compliments, compliments. Now, to tie it all together, I wore my Jacquemus Sherling bag. Now, they're not exactly the same. You can see it up here, but they're close enough in color that it works. This outfit just turned out incredible. This is one of my favorite outfits um, that I've styled in this video. Loving Fumi the label, one of my favorites at the moment, but definitely check out Gia times Sylvia Chirachi. I believe the T is silent. And get yourself a pair of thong sandals. Hopefully these are still available. They are true to size, made in Italy. Super supple, super fun. Um, and I do believe they may come in a few other colors as well. So I will link these down below as well as the pieces I styled them with. By the way, that Sherling um, Jacquemus bag does come in a ton of fun colors other than this beautiful like purpley lavender lilac blue almost. Um, so I'll be sure to link a few of those down below as well if you're into that. Speaking of Fumi the label, that is number five on the list. Now this brand has been a while, has been around for quite a while, but I'm in love. <laughs> and I love supporting just beautiful women who are just doing their thing when it comes to fashion. She's such a fashion icon. Definitely follow her on Instagram. I'll put all of her information down below in the description box. But I got a, another Fumi the Label dress. This one I think is perfect for spring, especially if you live in like the Northeast or a location where it doesn't get hot until maybe June, like New York City. This dress is a ribbed twist front, cut out, open back, knit dress. It's like a contrast dress with a beautiful brown and then a burgundy underneath. I am pretty sure that this dress is reversible so that you can wear it brown on one end, turn it inside out and wear the burgundy out and then see the beautiful brown contrast stitching. She did that. This is the perfect dress. It's perfect for date night. It's perfect for brunch with the girls. It's perfect for an event. And I love a good turtleneck. I'm definitely taking this with me to New York. I will be in New York for a few weeks in April and it's still cold. <laughs> so I will be taking this dress with me. I'm wearing a size medium. It fits perfectly. And I love that it does tie in the back but that it's an open back. It's giving those cutout vibes, which is huge right now, one of spring's hottest trends, but not too much. And I love that little twist portion in the front of your torso. Now, the way that I styled this stunning Fumi the Label dress is with another pair of Fumi the Label earrings. The earrings actually come in this super cool little twist off. These are the gold versions of the silver versions I just showed you guys. And I'm obsessed with them. I am obsessed. If you want to make a statement, these are the earrings for you. They are huge. And people are going to notice them and they're going to set your outfit off. Take your outfit to another level. Now, keeping with the pops of gold, I styled this look with my gold Tom Ford padlock heels. They're like a muted gold kind of cracked um, with the gold heel. I do love a Tom Ford sandal, I can't front. Like they are so sexy, so sophisticated, barely there with the straps. They're just beautiful and stunning and very expensive. So like I said before, I have found a dupe for these that's quite affordable. So I'll be sure to link those down in the, the description box, but Brand number five that's new to me and actually owning pieces from the brand. I've known about this brand for quite some time. The pieces are hitting. The quality, A plus, A1. Um, the price, incredible for the, the quality that you get. And yeah, one of a kind pieces I will have in my wardrobe for years to come, especially the earrings. It's like, oh, oh, every time I wear these, love. I, and I love pointing it, pointing it out to people. I'm like, follow this this account here, fool me the label, because the pieces are hitting. Y'all know I live for a good dress. So number five on the list of brands that I am obsessed with this spring, fool me the label. Last but certainly not least of brands that I'm obsessed with this spring, Awake Mode. Now Awake Mode is not new and Awake Mode is not new to me, but this piece, 
from awake mode it is new to me this is a stunning maxi denim skirt i picked this up in paris during during paris fashion week i think we all can agree that denim is the biggest trend of 2023 but also it's a staple because denim has always been in style and i just love the take on this skirt with the pockets at the bottom the kind of different stitching of different pieces from different denims i love that this skirt is high-waisted um it's very flattering and it looks good on everyone uh it's stunning awake mode is one of my favorite brands at the moment they just know how to do a fun element on staple pieces and they just keep reinventing themselves with these one-of-a-kind standout pieces that when you see them you know that it's awake mode so i am wearing a 36 french sizing in this skirt it is true to size most of my awake mode pieces i have in a 36 um, and it fits perfectly nice and high waisted and snug it also has just a tiny bit of stretch the way denim does now let's get into the styling of this skirt the way i style this skirt is with a bodysuit from zara this is one of my favorite bodysuits it's so chic and very very affordable in fact i think it's on sale now for like 11 bucks i have it in black i have it in white i have it in gray best thing i've ever <laughs> bought from zara i've gotten my cost per wear for sure um and i love the little cutout detailing it just makes it so chic and sophisticated and I paired that with my brand new acne leather jacket. I picked this jacket up in Paris and it's everything. I love that it looks a little bit grungy. I love that it looks a little bit dirty. It's meant to look that way. It's meant to look lived in. And that's a huge trend I'm seeing right now for leather pieces that they look grungy, they look dirty, they look lived in like an heirloom piece that was passed down from your granddad to your dad to, <laughs> to you. Um, and I love that look. In fact, I know H&M has a similar jacket and a few other brands. So I will link the acne leather coat, which is still great for spring for those cooler days. You could just drape it over your shoulders, give it that cool girl edgy look. Um, I will also link a few affordable ones from high street brands like Mango. And then I just topped off the look with some sunglasses from Celine. These are my favorite, just bad gal sunglasses they add a little bit of edge to any look for the shoe because this is probably the star of the accessories of this look these are the diva suede black lace-up sandals from Saint Laurent it's a look it's a vibe the straps of the sandal really set off the skirt because there's a high slit on the side of the skirt so every time I take a step you see the sandal which connects to the black in the top with the edgy sunglass and the the coat draped over the shoulder you can't tell me anything in this outfit okay speak to me nice okay because this outfit is probably my favorite this is one of my favorite outfit formulas for spring bodysuit maxi skirt lace up sandal jacket sunglass it works every time no matter what the fabric of the top the fabric of the bottom is the fabric of the jacket is this outfit formula works every single time and i'm here for it <laughs> so brand number six awake mode they keep reinventing themselves with one of a kind pieces definitely a brand to watch out for they are already killing it in 2023 i've linked a few skirts that are similar to this one i've also linked this one um, and a few more affordable versions. Everything in this outfit is available right now. So it's linked down in the description box. I also know that you guys really love these sandals, but they are quite pricey. So I have scoured the interwebs and linked similars. In fact, some of them are so good that I'm gonna get those. <laughs> I'm gonna get the affordable versions too, because I kind of want to do a comparison. So check the description box, use my links. Um, just click the link it'll take you straight to the products you don't have to fumble around looking for everything so in order we have Jean-Paul Gaultier Y Project stay tuned for the Jean-Paul Gaultier Paco Rabanne collection dropping in July we have Christopher Esbert I'm loving what he's doing with little plays on denim we have um, entire studios they are mixing cargo with the poofy trend and creating 
pieces that you're not going to see anywhere else for a price point that is absolutely out of this world we have gia times sylvia tarachi the heels are healing in fact all all of the gia couture heels they're all bomb but but a thong sandal you need it for spring we have my girl fumi fumi the label with the dresses and the the big 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 earrings uh Y'all are gonna be sick of me wearing these earrings. Like, just um, I'm warning you now. I'm, I'm gonna wear them a lot. Check out my girl. And last but not least, Awake Mode coming through with one of a kind, super cool denim pieces, skirts, sets. You name it, they got it. And it's gonna make you stand out. So those are the top six brands that I am obsessed with this spring and how I style these new in pieces from these brands. Let me know which look was your favorite. In fact, give me your top three down in the comments. Um, and make sure to check out those links to shop any of the looks that you have seen in today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, don't leave before I give your girl a thumbs up. Do it from your TV, just hit the up over button. Do it from your phone, you need to sign into YouTube. Um, but I would really appreciate 5,000 thumbs up on this video. I want everyone who watches this video to thumbs it up because I need more people to see my videos. So your girl can hit 100,000 this year because I need to get there. Don't worry, we are doing more fashion videos monthly. I know I'm a vlog girly and I, I love a vlog, but I'm gonna do the work and do more fashion videos for you all. So if you enjoyed this video, head on over and watch my spring trends video. If you love accessories, head on over and watch my new end jewelry uh, haul and collection, my favorites that I'm wearing for spring. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, comment, Subscribe. I would love to have you join the fam and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.